Yo, what's up guys, it's Accept here and welcome back to another video. So the last Nidalee Elite Clear Guide that I made was pretty simple, but it got a lot of positive feedback, but it also got some negative feedback from you guys. Mainly the negative feedback was that I didn't explain the clear enough mechanically and that people didn't understand how to kite the camp still. So I decided, alright, I'll make another guide explaining how to kite the camps correctly and how to actually maximize your clear speed. With that being said though, if you guys want a better clear, and if you guys leave the feedback, which I always ask for in my videos, then of course I will listen to it and I will actually do the clear as well, otherwise there would be no point in the feedback. But pretty much for the last few days I've been sitting here in custom games grinding the Nidalee clear in order to figure it out myself and then so that I can share it with you guys. But I think that's enough of the rambling, let's get straight into this video. So as you guys can see on screen right now, I have the clear in front of you guys. And if you guys want to see it yourself and study it yourself and then maximize your own clear, then you can rewatch this. And after this clear is done, then I'm going to go in depth explaining and pausing and really just trying to maximize the knowledge to you guys on how I did this clear. Alright, I quickly want to bring up the runes for this guide. These are the runes that I used when doing this clear, but they don't really matter. The only runes that really matter are the stat runes, but I just want to bring it up so that you guys don't use the wrong runes or something while practicing this clear, and then you wonder why you got it wrong. So pretty much just go adaptive force, adaptive force and armor, and then go the standard Nidalee runes that you think are the best for the game that you're playing. Alright, let's get started explaining this clear. So you're gonna want to start Q, and then stand in the bush that I'm doing on screen right now. And then when the clock turns to 129, or right before it turns to 129, you wanna throw your spear. You then want to run forward, auto attack, swap forms, auto Q. Pretty much set a rule for yourself that every time you want to Q, or every time you want to use your melee W, you wanna auto attack beforehand. This is just to maximize the amount of damage that we can get out of these camps. After you've done the auto Q, you wanna do one more melee auto attack before you swap forms, kite back to the bush, then auto Q auto attack. What you then want to do is swap forms, run to the back of the blue buff, and then auto Q and smite while the Q is in animation. You want to make sure that the smite comes out before the Q, because the Q actually deals increased damage against targets with missing HP. So if you smite too late, then it's gonna mean that you lose some damage. You also want to make sure that you don't smite too early, make sure that the blue buff auto attacks you that one last time so that you heal up the full HP and you don't tank one more auto attack unnecessarily. After this you're just gonna want to swap forms and then kite upwards while auto, auto, Q, auto then swap forms again and then auto q auto swap forms auto and then q towards the gromp now ideally if you're really quick then i think you can actually q the gromp first and then auto attack the blue buff and this actually speeds up the clear a little bit i've just not been able to do it personally otherwise this kind of sums up the blue buff at least now for the gromp after the q landed on it and we killed the blue buff we want to walk forward and we want to w it and then we want to auto attack and then swap forms and w in melee form now, as I said before, the most important thing here is that we use our auto attacks before we use an ability so that we maximize the amount of damage that we get onto the Gromp. The other important thing is that we don't use our W when we don't have a reset on it, because then it becomes too long of a cooldown and we lose a lot of damage. Anyways, after getting onto the Gromp, we want to auto Q, then auto W again. After that, we want to swap forms and then auto Q, alt once again, and then auto W. After that, we want to auto Q again, but we don't want to auto W this time because, as I said, we don't get a reset on it. So we're just going to swap forms and then we're gonna kite out the Gromp with our auto attacks. So you wanna do auto, auto, Q while kiting backwards. After the Q, we actually wanna W auto attack this time and then auto Q. We then wanna W the Gromp and then Q towards the wolves, hit the big wolf and then auto attack the Gromp. Now one more important thing that I didn't really mention is that you kinda wanna use your W so that you move outwards from the Gromp. So you walk in towards the Gromp, towards the wall and then you W outwards. This way it makes it a lot easier to kite the Gromp out later on. And it can actually speed the clear up by like 2 seconds. 
Now for the wolf camp, the clear is pretty much similar to how you clear the gromp. The important thing is that you hit the spear on the big wolf at the start and then also hit your W trap on the big wolf. And then otherwise you just wanna do the same spell rotations that you did on the gromp pretty much. As long as you auto Q and auto W then the clear is pretty much fine. When you come to the point that you don't have a W reset anymore, then you wanna do the same thing. You wanna swap forms, you wanna auto, auto and then Q. But this time you don't want to hit the big wolf because it's already low enough HP. So you hit a small wolf and then you W towards them. You then keep walking out towards the raptors. And when you have both your Q and W up, you Q and then W away. This way you reset your W on the kill as well. The most important thing is that you do all of this while kiting. So especially the auto attacks when we don't have a sp ability to use, we want to kite out the camp towards the next camp. This speeds the clear up a lot. Now for the raptor camp, the most important thing is that we first hit our Q on the big raptor. And then what's really important is that we hit our initial melee W on all the small raptors as well. Because if we miss one of them, one of them are going to survive. We want to use our E so that it hits everyone and we want to use our W so that it hits everyone as well. This way we pretty much one shot the camp and then by this time we get another spear, we want to use that towards the red buff. This makes the transition from raptors to red buff really smooth and we don't actually need the damage on the raptors anymore. So we can just do this instead. Now onto the red buff, the most important thing once again is just that we use auto attacks before our abilities and then that we also don't lose the W reset. Also when the red buff starts getting really low we want to make sure that we have our spear for the Krugs and also our W. Now for the Krugs it's pretty much the same thing, we also want to make sure that we hit our E and W on as many targets as possible and we also want to make sure that we use our cooldowns correctly, don't lose the W reset and don't waste auto attacks in between abilities. Now in this example I actually smited the Krug. The reason for this is that I don't find the skull crab that important anymore after the nerfs. So a lot of the time it might just be better to speed up the clear in order so that we can get a gank off earlier or get our sheaths off. And in the event that the enemy jungler is the contesting skull crab anyways, we can just take it. It's a bit slower, but it doesn't really matter. Now for those of you guys who actually want to learn this clear, my main tip for you guys is just practice, practice, practice. I don't think I made a perfect clear here. I'm pretty sure you can do it faster than I did, especially if you get a leash, etc. But I'm also not gonna say I came in and did this first time because I didn't, I sat and practiced this a lot and even still I didn't do this perfectly and there's a reason why the, my replay folder right now looks like this. So yeah, honestly just practice. I practiced one camp at a time so I first tried to perfect the blue buff clear and then the ground clear and then the wolf clear etc. Now if you guys did enjoy the video and want more of this then please subscribe and leave a like and if you don't want more of this or if you have any negative feedback then please leave that down in the comments below. I try to listen and I try to improve with every video I make so please leave feedback. I don't get upset by it at all. Anyways guys I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.